So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speed Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick silver tour on my channel. So, Freddie Roach, the long time trainer of Manny Pacquiao, has apparently told Manny Pacquiao he needs to knock out Australian fighter Jeff Horn, who he's defending his world title against in Australia on June, not June, July the 3rd. He needs to knock Jeff Horn out if he wants a chance of getting the Mayweather rematch. To quote Freddie Roach here, he says, His power is as good as ever. He's showing me that he still has the power. Believe me, he does. The other day when he gave me a shot, I think he broke my rib. He's still sore. He has great punching power and still has KO power. I'm looking for a knockout too. He has that speed and power. He lost his killer instinct along the way. But I think he wins this fight by knockout. I believe that Manny really needs to look good in this fight to get Mayweather to have a big fight. You have to have great performances. I told Manny, if you want Mayweather, you really need to look good in this fight. We should knock this guy out. But he knows what's in front of him. And I think the better he does in this fight, the bigger fight he'll get next. So yeah, that there were the Freddie Roach there. So yeah, this is my opinion. I think if Manny Pacquiao knocked Jeff Horn out in 10 seconds, I still don't think he'd get the Floyd Mayweather rematch. Like, Jeff Horn, like, yeah, he's an undefeated fighter, but he's not known as F. Jeff Horn. It's not like if he knocks someone like a Terence Crawford out or something like that. It's Jeff Horn at the end of the day. And I don't think Floyd Mayweather would give him the rematch. And to be honest, do we really want to see the rematch? Because the first fight was just so overly hyped and it was the biggest selling pay-per-view fight of all time. And then when the fight happened... You could just tell it happened four or five years too late. Where Mayweather just nullified Manny Pacquiao in there. And Manny Pacquiao basically just couldn't do anything in there. And Floyd Mayweather won very convincingly. I know fans think Manny Pacquiao won the fight. And I've had to have so many arguments on YouTube over the past couple of years over it. People saying, oh, it's a draw. Oh, if you turn the commentary down and you watch Manny Pacquiao in this round and throwing them angle. Like, no. Manny Pacquiao lost the fight. I had it 9 rounds to 3 to Mayweather. 117, 111. I had that scored to Floyd Mayweather. So, I don't know where people got a draw from because it just wasn't a draw. You just get these delusional fans. And don't get me wrong, Floyd has his delusional fans as well. But these delusional Pacquiao fans thinking it was a draw or that Pacquiao won, like ridiculous and yeah Manny Pacquiao hasn't knocked anyone out since 2009 the last person he knocked out well he stopped Miguel Cotto in 2009 fucking hell it was that long ago as well Jesus yeah I remember watching that fight because it was just after the Hatton fight and Freddie Roach here saying that Manny Pacquiao lost his killer instinct and I can see that because Manny Pacquiao really grew up as a person throughout his career because not too many people know that Manny Pacquiao used to be a bit of a lad back in the day. He used to drink. He used to take drugs. He used to have money invested in strip clubs and stuff like that. He was a bit of a boy back in the day, Manny Pacquiao. But as he got older, he became very religious. He's a God-fearing man. He does a lot of political work in his country of Philippines. He's a family man. And he has lost a bit of that killer instinct we saw early on in his career, Manny Pacquiao. He's still been dropping guys in fights and stuff like that. But one fight, for example, where he could have finished the guy and didn't was the Chris Algieri fight. He knocked Chris Algieri down, what, six times? Like, every time Chris Algieri got up, Manny Pacquiao just kept putting him back down again. And I think Manny Pacquiao showed a bit of mercy on Chris Algieri that night. I think Manny Pacquiao could have finished Chris Algieri off in that fight. But I think he just carried him to the 12th round and got the wide points decision victory so I don't know if Manny Pacquiao will knock Jeff Horn out and if you're listening to Freddie Roach in terms of getting a big fight I think Manny Pacquiao could get a big fight anyway just because he's Manny Pacquiao he could fight anyone in the welterweight division if he really wanted to he could fight somebody like a Keith Thurman or a Errol Spence or a Terence Crawford I think that could be a very good fight for Manny Pacquiao the Terence Crawford fight I think that's the fight you should be having right now. But anyway, comment below in the comment section. What do you guys think of this? It's JM, it's Speedboxing.